that there is so many beautiful magnificent people to interview on this planet I, I feel that every one of us could uh, do and share their wisdom with the rest of the world so it's it's for me every single interview is very special and usually the last one and um, have a, you know have a special meaning and, and will bring the right answer at that right moment. So that's why I upload so many different videos because I feel they're timely and they help all of us to evolve in these times that are changing and sometimes where we question things and we have to evolve and let go of our past so, it, so that we can be the best, our best self now. And so, with that that being said though of course going to hawaii and meeting with wayne dyer and meeting with ram das and meeting with all those amazing people that live on this to me very special place they they're infused with this uh they embody some of them embody exactly what we're talking about like they 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 get it some people got it through some people get their awakening in in, a, in an instant but most of us for me that's the case it's little by little so i love interviewing the people that have those instant openings like baron katie but i love interviewing people that are like us that are going through this journey and little by little expanding learning letting go going through challenges and learning so so there is there is a lot of special interviews in my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow, you know. Ah, Yes. Yeah, and you already did so many interviews with uh, many people, but there are I. I believe there are still many people you want to interview in the future. And is there any person you would really like to meet in the future? And if so, uh, why, why? Yeah, I I would love uh, right now. What I'm what I'm up to is to interview the new paradigm teachers. So I'm into attracting and interviewing people that are the new teachers because what I found out is that some people in spirituality in consciousness in all of that don't walk their talk i felt disappointed by who i was seeing on camera and off camera and i think there is the old type of teaching that is like do this and do that and this is i am the guru and you should do that and you should do all those mantras and I don't think that's where we're at right now in our evolution. We're all in this together. And so I'm looking for teachers mm -hmm. that don't have that kind of ego in there. And I just want to share from their mm -hmm. heart and that are humble and that teach things like there's nothing wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with you guys. There's nothing wrong with us is, 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 is just a matter of unpeeling those layers. And, and, and living that beauty that you are already now. 
And that's the kind of teachings I'm looking for. So it's not anymore that I'm set with a precise name in my mind, though I would love to interview Eckhart Tolle in person and Oprah Winfrey, for example. But I'm more into the, the, the new paradigm and letting that unfold. You? Um, I was finishing, I, fi I, I, was, I had just finished uh, my thought there. Well, I just wanted to add that you are one of the, the great teachers of the, this new paradigm that you're talking about. Thanks. At least I think so. <laughs> yeah, because you are walking the talk and yeah. Thank and you. You really try to live what you learn. Yes. Yes, it's important to for us, I think, now to start seeing that we are the ones we've been waiting for and that uh, yeah, yeah, right. and we apply those things that we learn. We apply the things that we read in books or hear in interviews because we're really amazing, amazing beings. And the more we just are in this gratitude, in this wanting to discover who we are and being in the questioning and the mystery of life, and we free ourselves and we become more and more free from our fears and we expand. So it's, yes. it's exciting to be to be doing it, all of us together, like not hiding our secrets or not just really mm -hmm. sharing with others what works. I think this is the era we're in now. So that's what I wanted to do through the book when I lost my job. And that's, that's what I've been doing through videos yeah. and all of it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just want to commend you and uh, thank you very, very much for the, the work you're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we are benefiting a lot from your work. Yeah, I just want to say that. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the third question. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the third question is, you must have found some commonalities among the many people you have met and interviewed, I guess. And what do you think is the most important thing these people have in common? I think what I was a little bit saying earlier is that uh, th that I'm I'm getting more and clearer and clearer on 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 what's important for them to for, for, for me I want to in, in interview and meet people that are doing the, their best you know at unfolding and living I mean living this journey so I find that people that are that I interview that are have in common or that I want that they have more and more in common is that they live from the heart and they they live in the present moment and they follow their intuition um, they, they 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 trust the universe they trust life um, and watch for synchronicities in life and open themselves up to possibilities to the extraordinary knowing that they deserve we deserve this to live an amazing awesome life uh, and learning that because th there might be difficulties in life but that they are perfectly okay and adapted to our evolution so for example when i interviewed bernard Verber, weber which you know of in korea because he's doing really well with all his books the french uh, author uh, yeah. bernard well you yes, i love his work <laughs> yeah well he says he says in that interview that you have translated in korean he says you know in life you're handed this set of card and at some point in your life the wisdom consists of saying, okay, these are the cards I have in my hand. Now, what am I doing with those? Instead of mm -hmm. saying, I wish I had this one and I wish I had blonde hair. Well, you won't have blonde hair anyway and, unless you bleach it. So, you know, and that's not going to make a difference anyway. So you might as well accept your brown hair, you know, is, 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 is things like that, that we have a tendency to, 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 to just, we have a tendency as human beings to want to change things that are unchangeable anyway. We might as well just look at what we have, appreciate what we have, and then move yeah. forward. Yeah. So I think a lot of the teachers are saying that. And then there's teachers that are very into the cosmos, into the cosmic energies or the channeling. This is less what I apply daily because to me it's less applicable. I like and I, and I enjoy listening to those interviews because it opens my mind to other 
things in life, so I, I enjoy that. But I want to keep it practical. So I appreciate the, the, the teachers like Sonia Choquette yes, also. Works. Sonia, that will make it really practical as well. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I think that's a very uh, balanced viewpoint that you have on, on these matters. You know, I think that is the most important thing. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I'm going to go on. Okay, I'm going to ask the next question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, although you're always, you know, working with very good intentions, there must have been times, you know, when you were having, like, you know, difficulties, personal difficulties. Uh, how do you personally manage and overcome such difficult times, you know? Yeah. Well, I, you, I, you know, I talk about it in this book because uh, I lost my job. And that's, and losing our job or, mm -hmm, yeah. these are big, big, big things happening in some people. It might be a disease or a divorce or, and, and, I, and I went through this, this, this hard time of, of losing my job and wanting to then discover and go and find and live my dream. So I think all of us are faced with challenges that can be huge, that can be really big. And, and to me, how I face those is by finding the gratitude for those. Because I find that once I start being grateful for it, even though like at the beginning I said, why would I be grateful to having lost my job and have no more jobs and not know where my next job will mm -hmm. be? I find that once you're in that place, then you can see the gift of the situation. And that's huge because then you can see it's like, you know, there is kind of like that yin yang, there is the other side. There is maybe what we face can be dark, but then that means you can at least be grateful for just discovering and being on this quest to find what's behind this you know what what kind of light is going to shine through what kind of adventures or new things i'm going to discover through this you know how amazing how grateful i am to be able to discover this whole new paradigm this whole new life this whole new me that wants to emerge once i will have gone through it and and what happens when you start to relax like that and to accept the situation is that the situation can transform and in life there is those times where things don't move forward and don't i think evolve uh and it's and it's normal it, it, it's not that uh, you know sometimes we want to push things and we're impatient and we want things to make things happen, but there is maybe some lessons in there in that period of time so that we kind of cocoon like a, like a, um, mm. a, a, a butterfly, you know, and we cocoon in that place yeah, yeah. where we, we are transforming until we're ready to fly. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah. can, it can go through that phase of, oh my God, things are shaking up here. Mm. It's difficult. So gratitude has been big for me in nature and just uh, learning what is the flow and, and wanting to be in the present moment and wanting to find back my flow. And that's why the book is so precious because it's, it's, it's just the real journey of somebody that is real, you know, it's, yes. it's not hiding the fact that there are some difficult moments, but what do you do with those difficult moments? Because, mm -hmm. because they are there for all of us, but they don't need to be that long. Yes. They don't need to drag us mm -hmm. down. And I think as we grow through this journey, they become, the, the challenges are still there, but they're a bit shorter and we are more conscious of what's going on. And then we can, we can tap in something else. And to me, tapping into life energy is huge. You know, saying to life, hey, you know, help me here. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Come on. Bring it on, you know? and I think I think it's important to ask for help. You know, please help. Uh, I speak to life because that's what that's what turns me on. That's what excites me, and I feel there is a force in life. There's an energy, and I and I feel its juiciness. I feel its vibrancy, and when I connect to that, oh my God, there is my my vibration increase. 
I attract and meet the right people and this and that but it's a process it's a step by step it's a it's a one decision at a time it's a one yes maybe a no yes and then you clear and you move forward and things unfold it's not like we used to live before where we needed a big plan mm -hmm. yeah i think that's why everybody should read your book you know because um, you know there are a lot of answers in there <laughs> There, there are quite a lot of things in okay. there. I'll have to ask. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I'll have to ask the next question. Uh, do you have any kind of a, like a personal ritual or to start or end your day? For example, like meditation or journaling or things like that? A lot of people I've interviewed told me meditation was very important. And I've been resisting it. And I felt that through by because I was traveling and because I was interviewing people that was my meditation like being in that space of listening during the interview was meditative but I must say that uh, for the past months or two I've been meditating uh, through an application 10 minutes only 10 minutes in the morning just listening to a calming yeah. music and maybe with a voice or somebody's voice or and just doing that it changes the day I'm, I'm really amazed how by doing that I'm connecting more with subtiles uh, subtle energy you know with uh, with my intuition with my premonitions or 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 I, I'm it's like I'm starting to tap because of that into something bigger and into life's, you know, a, a deeper connection, a, a softer connection. It is interesting what it what it's creating just doing that. So now my ritual, yes, is is when I think of it, and I'm still, you know, I, I'm all about being um, gentle with ourselves because I used to be so hard on me, like so difficult when things were not moving forward. Or I was, um, um, for example, I didn't had a client, or uh, I lost a friend, or whatever. I used to be very, very hard on myself and saying, "Ah, you see, you're not good enough, and and you should know this better, and you're stupid." I would give myself those kind of really hard times, and now I'm 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 all about just being, you know, learning and just being present and noticing when I do this, and so I'm gentle with myself knowing that okay i'm learning from the situation next time i'll be aware of it and just growing with myself like if i had a, a, a scared kid inside of me you know uh, mm -hmm. that didn't know how to handle things so i reassure my my scared inside self and say you know don't worry you'll be fine and and mm -hmm. so meditating like that uh, uh nearly every day and uh and and setting intentions at the beginning of the day i speak a lot of it in the book you know s setting intentions is, yes. is really is really a beautiful thing because that creates also a context so every day more or less same thing not every day but most of the time i create intentions and i have this little book where i because i i, I speak a lot about the 100 day reality challenge but because that's how I started video blogging and then interviewing people. So I have this little journal, uh, the 100 day workbook journal that I write my intentions and then I would write yes. the practices I would choose. And then at the end of the day, I would say what I'm grateful for and, mm -hmm. and, and what happened and the results of what's happening. So I think it's in two folds. It's one creating the intention, but also maybe when you go to bed at night, say five things that you're grateful for or look at the results that that's been happening but from a gentle loving perspective mm -hmm. um i have just a top question yeah while listening to your yeah answer and um you were saying about some finding your um connection with your inner voice hearing your heart and um like um, when when your inner voice is whispering, how how does it come to you? I mean, how how does it feel like? Because of uh, people like me, uh, personally, I don't really think I have um, that big intuition. Like I don't I don't know if my heart is telling me something, and I really wonder how do you, yeah how does it feel like yeah. 
it's um i think it's something that we can we can all develop and learn and that uh mm. now i feel it's stronger than before but it, it's it's like um <clears throat> i really you know the first impression maybe you see someone and you have a very quick first impression um it's mm. like an instant knowing on the situation or the person so that's that's something that you can pay attention to when you watch uh, when you, when I like for example now look at a picture if I if I have hundred of people to interview if I look at the picture of the hundred people I will I will feel more at ease in my body and the body will soften with some looking at some pictures than others. That's intuition. You know, you have to feel how your body feels in those situations or because of, of, of um, uh, uh, maybe a decision in a project or something. If, you're, if your body is tense and you feel stressed and, and, and the idea is, is kind of daunting and you're stressed, maybe it's not the right time or, 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 or the right person to work with, etc. If it feels good, if there's something that you're inspired, enthusiastic about, you know, simply follow. That's the thing is that if you if you just follow your enthusiasm, if you follow the things that um, excites you and that you feel a little tingle or a smile inside and your body relax, you know, and you will learn that you, you, you just it's 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 little by little. Um, and it's very and it's very subtle so when you're when you're present you can really feel that and if you consciously say okay how does this feel our body is a great tool so you want to to see how this feels also how it feels when you when you're thinking of a project or a person and and because sometimes you see for when i have to choose interviews there's so many people to interview that I need to make a decision and I and we're right now in a time where there's so much information on the internet and everybody has an opinion about everything and TV is gonna bring another opinion my god and the journals and the newspapers that were like ah so that's why it's so important to take silent time maybe meditation or thinking of your or just relaxing for 10 minutes or reading or just stopping a little bit to listen to that inner voice but it's not it's it, we're really all equipped with that we all have that inside it's just a matter of softening relaxing and listening and trusting and little by little it's it's gonna increase because you're gonna listen to it and you're gonna know and you're gonna go really fast with it now I can see five pictures, I'll tell you right away, boom, that's the person I'm supposed to interview. And it's like a game, you have to see it like a game too, like a kid. A kid would do that naturally. You know, we want to become kids again, but of course adults, but with our spontaneity. You know, so you would say, oh my God, yes, 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 of course, yes. And then boom, you, you get it. Or, or you, you walk towards that person, or you make that email or that phone call. Uh, it's a process. It's a process, and you and you and you and you and you will learn. We 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 are we we have that, and the more we trust ourselves, the more we love ourselves, respect ourselves, the more we're in tune. Then the clearer it becomes. And it's also a game. Like you have to see it as a game, as a playful thing. Uh, but if you're stressed about a person or a thought or a project, you know, clearly your intuition is telling you, eh, eh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to actually ask you the next question. Um, okay. Uh, many people, uh, many Korean readers have read your book and, you know, they were, they realized how you were able to, you know, overcome the positive outlook on life. You're very in enthusiastic and but some people you know don't share the same positive attitudes or maybe outlooks uh, you know they seem to have some difficult times in you know overcoming their you know issues uh, uh, can you like give one advice for people like that you know yes um uh, it's it, it, it I must say that even though if I when you read my book uh, 
you see a lot of positive and I like to bounce back in situation. You know, I like to bounce. I like to, um, I, I really know deep inside of me that, that once we are in hard situation, this is when we can really truly find something great. So I go for that, but I'm not a positive, uh, always, I, I, I can wake up positive. I wake up positive in the morning, but as soon as there is one little incident or something that doesn't go right, I shut down. So yeah. I, I have a lot of doubts mm -hmm. and I have a lot of negative thoughts that I'm dealing with. So it's, it's, I'm not that positive. What I put in place and what I share in the book, the gratitude and all those different tools that I put in place and that I put in this, the, the real situation of a challenge like losing a job, it's because I wanted to share the the, the 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 difficulty too and the possibility of of surmounting and going over that. So it's not it's 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 really to me also and it has been a challenge. Now what what change over time when you start practicing gratitude and all those different things is that you start to really live more and more of a life that corresponds to who you are. And so it feels better and better. And, and, and then you, you, you clearly say no to things that don't work for you. And you just say, you don't say yeses anymore just to be nice with others. You really do things that, that, that works for you. And as you go, as you notice, oh my God, I'm having this, this negativity and I'm in this negative loop, then I, you, 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 you're, you're quicker, you're faster at finding uh, the tool that you need at that time. So it's like you learn about yourself and you get to, to know yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, when I did the book, I had already done six seasons or I don't know how many seasons of the 100 Day Challenge. So I, pr I practice this. I, you know, to me, when we do a workshop or we read a book, it is important to, to try it and to test it. Um, I, I had a childhood, a, d a difficult, you know, a, some portions of my childhood were difficult and I speak about it, my relationship with my mom and with my dad and the divorce of my parents when I was young and how I thought they didn't handle this and, and the difficulty of being a single child and, and just uh, parents that had restaurants and that were working a lot and that I was by myself, you know, and all of this some people had way more challenging childhood, but we, what, why I'm bringing this up is because we made choices and decisions about who we were then. And it's, and now the journey is unfolding that. So people that say I'm negative, I'm not like Lilu, they're still in comparison mode. And that's not where the transformation happens. It, it happens from being a hundred responsible for what you have. And, and like Bernard Verber was saying, you know, with the cards that you're handed and, mm -hmm. and accepting your situation right now and moving forward with what you have, recognizing what you have, forgiving yourself if needed, then you can move forward and, and bring the energy that you need, etc. But until you compare yourself with others, until you, you, you're like, but this is how I am. And, and you, you just, you're just continuing being in that flow. There's nothing new that can happen. So you want to open yourself up. And, and this is, this is the most important you, you, you like you have to, uh, to, to, uh, honor, honor this life. Oh my God. The life, life is quite short. So we have to, this is extraordinary time to live a juicy adventure, to live your adventure, to discover who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, so make sure you work with yourself, you know, make sure you become your best friend and that you move forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I, I thought our words of wisdom. I think a lot of people will find that helpful. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, we have one yeah. more question, uh, the last question. Yes. And, uh, since I think we're running out of time, right? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we're I good. Think, the, yeah. Yeah, one last question. Yeah, um, this question, I guess, um, not only Korean readers, but uh, also a lot of um, 
your uh, viewers from worldwide would also be wondering about. And um, people ask that, um, uh, what is your overall perception of the level of shift that is happening around the world? Um, and do you really see the changes? You know, you do really see a hope for change? Is it really happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, yes, yes, it's happening, and I feel it's happening inside of all of us. Like it's, uh, um, um, uh, there is, it, it, there's a new way of of living our lives that is possible, and there is new kind of um, uh, tools. Uh, that we have already inside, you know, like intuition and that disconnection, the consciousness, the information that can come to us. Um, um, I think I feel like we're as we evolve, as we allow ourselves to uh, live that and practice that daily, and to open ourselves to the mystery of life and asking for help and assistance the more we're getting connected with each other and the more we're meeting like-minded people the more online or offline and the more we're creating this new world but it's i feel it's it's already there and happening and um there is a lot of things that are uh sad that are happening in the world uh and there is this it's kind of like a, a, another planet or a different dimension or a different um, vibration level of people that are creating the world of tomorrow instead of focusing on what's wrong with this one that are going for what's right with this world um, I feel we're connected to each other with our heart and that because of this authenticity and the search for for becoming who we really are, like uniquely who we are, because we're all unique. At the same time, we're seeing each other, we're seeing ourselves in others. Like a lot of people that read my book said, oh my God, I could totally relate. And I could see myself in, in different uh, aspects of this book. Because I feel that once we speak from our heart and once we we are truthful then there is this um this natural oneness this natural connection this um this world that uh that you want to participate in that will support uh, changes and that will support other human beings not from the old paradigm meaning a paradigm of competition, of fear, of pressure, of you will do that, otherwise I will, you know. Uh, all those are so old. Um, personally, I so do not want to be surrounded by people like that. So it's a daily, it's a daily challenge to ask for respect from others in a loving way to say what you have to say and to learn you know what is the way that works for you and 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 to create collaborative uh, partnerships or to meet people and to work with people that are into the same way of functioning and it and it takes courage you know it takes a lot of courage sure. for, for all the souls and you included to to go there because it is it it is it is it is right now it feels at some point that we are um a contre courant that we are going uh, uh against the stream but actually we're going with the stream so at times we have to go there there is those conversations to have and these choice that can be heartbreaking and that can be hard but if you're really true to your heart there is you want to be in integrity with with the choice you make and the people you meet and 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 who you're going to work and all of that so it cre it's it can it can shake you up you know uh, for sure but once you go through that it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and quicker and quicker so it's worth going through it at your own pace there is no rush 
there is no fear to have about timing. I mean, timing is what we make of it. So, you know, take the time that 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 you need, so that you 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 honor who you are and you love yourself so deeply that your life corresponds to 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 heaven on earth. Mm. And it doesn't mean it's perfect. It just means it's your heaven. You create your mm. heaven. What is your heaven? That's the new paradigm. Yeah. We all deserve to live in our heaven. And trust me, our heavens, my heaven, your heaven, all of that perfectly fits together. It's not like before where you have to, 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 to to, to kind of square it out and say, this is my heaven, don't get in my heaven. We can share our heavens here. It has to be shared, I think, you know, because we are co-creating, like you say, the reality that, you know, we are sharing the reality. I don't think, you know, it's, it's like individual realities, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and, but also, it's about honoring our voice and, and our uniqueness. So we're co-creating mm. together, but you have to stand also for who you are and what you believe in. Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. okay, okay. Well, well you guys, uh, we do have some couple more questions, but since we're running out of time, I just want to thank you for uh, taking this time to do this interview. Thank and, you. Uh, maybe we can do this again next time, maybe? I would love that. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was really nice to talk to you again. In, Same. You know, on the on sky and um, <laughs> thank you so much and i look yeah, forward and, uh, i look the best for you i thank you and for you too and i look forward to come to korea one day probably 2015 and